She's being called the accidental entrepreneur. Laura Seda wanted to do some kitchen renovation at her home in Roswell herself, but ran into a bit of trouble. What she did next is pretty inspiring, and Laura joins us now to tell us about Tile Sizer. Okay, you. so you're trying to do some kitchen renovation with tile, mm -hmm. and what happens? So I ran into this problem area around the windowsill, and the tiles didn't fit quite right, and so I popped up the wet saw and took the small old tile, and blades going 100 miles an hour and I'm trying to get it through and I thought there's got to be a better way. Yeah, fingers and blades, not good. Not good, not good at all. And so I went and I found an old three and a half floppy disk and I cut out a U-shaped and got some office clamps and that was my first prototype. Oh my gosh, and so then what happened? Well, you, so you realized there was, it was going to be, like you weren't the only one with this kind of problem. I, I thought I might be, and then I mentioned to someone else in the neighborhood that was doing a kitchen backsplash as well, and he mentioned he had a similar problem, and I thought, well, if I'm having the problem and he's having the problem, maybe we're all having the problem. That's how inventions are born. So you made your prototype. Made the prototype, and it, it, there were two other prototypes within 30 days, and this wow. is the final product that came out well, of it. Well, can you hold it up and let them? Sure. Okay, so how does it work? So basically, it's got two separate diagonal notches in here for different size uh, tiles. You can either do it as a diagonal, a straight. It's thick enough to do those river rocks that are popular. This is an adjustable right arm for anything from a quarter inch to six inches. Plug it in, you tighten it up, wow. sturdy, line it up with a straight and edge, and you just put it through the wet zone and come it back out. Okay, so then when you realize I'm onto something here, I could mass produce this and sell it, you ran into even more trouble and perhaps even bigger than getting this done. Correct. Um, I ran into probably obstacles everywhere along the way, but the manufacturing of the product, I tried to do it in the southeast where I was located in Atlanta, and I sent out the initial email as El Seda. And I got all these responses back, and then I followed up as Laura to say, let's meet. And all of a sudden, my project was too small or too big or not a good fit. Crickets. Crickets. Yeah. And you think, I mean, you're not going to say this out loud probably, but it probably was because it was Laura and not Larry. I don't know for sure. But it's just the only additional information that was provided. Okay, in the but email. finally, somebody in California says yes. I, I did two other bids out before I got someone to work with me in California, and that's where it's produced Love today. it. And this was a big, this has been a long time. I mean, this has kind of been your baby for a while. So, soup to nuts, how long did it take you to get it to this? Oh, to this? And then into stores. Okay. To, to this, it took about nine months from the first time that I, I did the prototype. And then into stores, it was, uh, we launched in 2009, and... Uh, uh, two years ago, we got into Home Depot and Granger, and then last month we signed with Lowe's to get into Fabulous. stores. Fabulous. So now people can just go buy that, and they don't even know there is even, even anything like that out there. Correct. That's amazing. Okay, I love that you're, you're going to take this even further. You, you're going to help other people who have ideas in their head who want to get them out there. Right. So I've written a book, and so it should be released by Christmas, and basically it goes through from idea generation all the way to national distribution. And each chapter will have a little story on some sort of obstacle that I had to overcome so that people can learn from that. So impressive. Now let me ask you one more thing that hits me. That doesn't have to just be for women, right? Men, this isn't a product for women. No, this is, this is a product for anybody, a DIYer or a professional. I've gotten feedback from, from everybody. And it's not actually just for tile. I've had woodwork, wood, okay. woodworkers use it and people who make okay. jewelry use it. Laura, you go, girl. That is, <laughs> I am so impressed with that. Thank you so much for coming on and showing us that. And remember, you. you can get the tile sizer now at Granger, Home Depot, and next month at Lowe's. Or you can go onto their website, log on to tilesizer.com. Thank you, Laura. Thank you.